from CNN. President Joe Biden is embracing tougher border measures, including shutting down the U.S.-Mexico border, marking a stark shift from his early days in office as he tries to fend off former President Donald Trump's attacks on immigration policy. Hours after Speaker of the House Mike Johnson warned on Friday that the emerging border deal in the Senate was dead on arrival, Biden offered this message to House Republicans. <laughs> CNN translates, securing the border through these negotiations is a win for America. <laughs> for everyone who is demanding tougher border control, this is the way to do it. If you are serious about the border crisis, pass a bipartisan bill and I will sign it. Now, CNN goes on to explain. Over the course of his administration, Biden has leaned on more restrictive measures to try to stem the flow of <laughs> migration. Which what, administration what, is this? I, I'm mm, sorry. I'm what is he? What? But Friday's statement revealed a tougher stance as the president tries to control oh. the issue that's dogged him. Is he too, oh. t is he too tough on the He's border? Almost I too think he tough. might be too tough. Well, I have worked all weekend long on a bipartisan bill. Okay. Okay. Now, I'm going to I'm going to do something that the politicians won't. I'm going to show it to America mm. and then we could debate and discuss it. Not sure about that. Tactic. Okay. Seems, all right. Seems so erratic. here it is now. Now, listen carefully. I, I've written it down, and I'm waiting for the president's signature. It just says, we will enforce all, all federal laws at all borders at all times. And then he just puts the signature there. That's Wow. Yeah. So you, uh, we can so debate. We can debate. Is it too much? Mm. Is it too little? Is there any pork in there that you see? Right. Well, what if we just don't do it on the southern border? You said all no, borders. No, it says all borders. I know, but I'm, I'm trying times. to negotiate with you here, Glenn. What no, about, I think you what know, about some of the times. Or no, how, I about, think, how about none of the times? How about that? No, no. I think he should sign this one. How about no, we this won't one. enforce all federal laws at all borders? No, it at says all we will enforce. I just, right here. I'm just trying to help you get this through. Are you a member of the administration? Because <laughs> that's what they'll do after he I'm signs. I'm the gang it. of eight. Yeah, you're the uh, gang I'm of eight. I'm the gang yeah. of eight. I look like eight yeah. people combined, yeah, and I'm the right. gang of eight. Well, there it is. So it's now. There has been some talk in committee. Oh, yeah. The, the committee that lives inside your head? Yep. yep. Mm -hmm. There's lots of us in here. Mm -hmm. And uh, and Bill was saying, well, I don't know, Mr. Beck, because... Uh, <laughs> what, year is he's it? A, what year is it in your head? <laughs> it's like 1824. <laughs> <All right. laughs> uh, and I just looking at this, and I see it signed by President Joe Biden. And I said, yes, sir. And he said, but... He tends not to enforce the laws. And mm. I said, I know that's why this is a pinky promise that says he will enforce the laws. Right. Okay. I'd like to make an amendment. So I I had, I have an amendment I would like to offer mm -hmm. from one of the voices in my head. And uh, so he signs this one that says, you know, I'll enforce the law, the federal laws at all borders at all times. And then he signs this one into law. I will actually enforce the law I just signed <laughs> by Joe Biden. Then I, I, think I we feel have like it. we might get into a little bit of a Russian doll situation here. <laughs> where we're like, we're just <laughs> <laughs> bill after bill after bill. But right. I think it would improve the situation. Uh -huh, you do. You do. Yeah. yeah. So I just don't think that, you know, that we need any of those special emergency powers, you know. Uh, well, I, yeah. and, you know, NBC made me feel better. Mm -hmm. These are just akin to the ones that were introduced during COVID. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Wait, so first of all, they're the I, laws like COVID. You mean the my, ones that the Biden administration fought so hard to overturn? Why? Why? Because I remember Trump did put in a bunch of restrictions, right. and the entire debate of the early administration was that they were, how fast he could get them removed, right? And then how? No, uh, this is just giving them the emergency power to put those or any other kind of things that they might think of in. And, and that, of course, that doesn't affect people who uh, who are saying they're persecuted. No, Th those no, people no, no, can no. still come in. No, come, they on, can come in. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. And if you guys, come in the all... front door, we just don't want you climbing through the windows. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you can come in. 
Uh, by the way, you know, some would think, hey, this sounds really bad. Some, including you know who, this sounds to me like a, a Mexican standoff. And I was in my head going, hey, stop that language. This is not a Mexican. What year are you from? I will say I want to see the animated film Inside <laughs> Out about your head and all the different personalities in there having these arguments. That would, would be, be a good. great sequel. It would be good. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, you know, uh, we are at a place now where the federal government, you know, at any time could say, hey, we don't appreciate it, Texas, and do more than, well, I can't even say that. That is so wrong of me. My gosh, I have grown so callous that I would even suspect that Friday, the president coming out and saying, we're stopping all natural gas exportation from the United States of America for the next year. Not only really pissed off our allies because they need it, but I was just about to go down this very callous road, and I apologize in advance for thinking that that may have happened on Friday because the two states that would be punished uh, would be Texas and Florida. Now, to assume the president would do something like that is just to have him say, I think I'm going to bring CNN would translate, I want to make things better for the people in Texas. That's why I'm going to shut down 30% of all of America's supply just coming out of Texas. I think I, f I could have felt targeted by the president, but I don't think that's what he's doing at all. Always looking out for the best for all of us. Thank that's, you. That's the Joe Biden way. Mm -hmm. I think so, people believe that. So, uh, you know, he's got Border Patrol that he commands. He commands. And then we have Greg Abbott, who he commands the National Guard. And then we have the president who says, no, I'm the leader of the National Guard. And so he said, I'm going to federalize them. And if he federalizes them... Then, and this is a really great, pl soldiers love this when they're like, um, okay, I'm kind of in the middle of this and I kind of agree with this guy. Doesn't matter which guy. I kind of agree with this guy. So I think I'm not going to do what the other guy tells me to do. Soldiers love ambiguity. They love it's it. It's very important for a military. It really is you great. You gotta make sure you have different right. orders from different people right. and letting them decide individually. Right. And then, well, they can't decide. You know, they if they sought decide, well then they should be tried. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. and it's like the border patrol. Oh, it, you know, the border patrol, are you gonna are you gonna shoot the Texas National Guard or the Texas law enforcement, especially since you guys really agree. In fact, they came out. Rank and file Border Patrol agents are not going to start arresting Texas National Guard members for following their lawful orders. Mm -hmm. That's fake news. Texas National Guard and rank and file BP agents work together and respect each other's jobs, period. The Texas National Guard members have lawful orders and they have to carry out those orders. So the rank and file of the Border Patrol is kind of on the side of Texas. Hmm. Now, uh -oh. this is where that crazy ambiguity thing happens. Uh, it's so fun. It's yeah. so fun. Well, you know, if you, if you wanted direct orders, you know, and you wanted this to be so much better for yourself, all you have to do is stop whipping migrants on horseback. And we Amen. know that's such a huge problem. And you know what? The Texas patrol. Border Patrol, they right. appreciated that. <laughs> yeah. They appreciated when the president came out and said, hey, yeah. God, now, you're in a, you're slim, like, with slavery. What I like, too, is how they, after it was proven without a shadow of a doubt that it didn't happen, they didn't bother correcting it. No. I think that's important no. for a military's no. morale. I didn't want to make my, my, my. MAGA extremist. Is that what mm -hmm. you said, Mr. President? MAGA extremist? <laughs> oh, or, sorry, ultra MAGA extremist. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, it's, not the MAGA it's like the marketing isn't working on new MAGA. Right. Ultra MAGA. Super, super huge, scary MAGA. Yeah. Like it didn't work when just saying they were MAGA, and then it didn't work when they said it was MAGA extremist. Now it's ultra MAGA extremist. And then ultra it's going to be. Ultra MAGA extremist. Now with, uh, now with ESG. Yeah. Mm. 
Is that like MSG? Kind of. I feel like we're going to go to ultra mega mega Doppler um, extremist very soon. And then we just keep upping it from there. Extra spicy mega. It's it's like what they do with global warming, right? Like they come out and they say, well, in 50 years, this could happen. And then when people are like, okay, okay, tell me, get in touch with me in 49 years. And they're like, oh, it's actually happening right now. It's worse than ever. (laughs) Do you believe that? No. Oh, my God, it happened last week. (laughs) Time it down. (laughs) 